cars leave a city on the same road at the same time, one driving 13 miles per hour faster than the other. After four hours, the car traveling faster stops for lunch. After four hours and 45 minutes, the car traveling slower has not passed the faster car's position, but stops for lunch too. Assuming that the person in the faster car is still eating lunch, the cars are now 16 miles apart. How fast was each car driving? I think it's important to go back and maybe reread the problem a few times to make sure you fully understand everything that is occurring in the problem. You might have to go and highlight or underline important information. For example, two cars leave a city on the same road at the same time. This tells me that the cars are traveling in the same direction. I also know one is driving 13 miles per hour faster than the other. After four hours, the car traveling faster stops for lunch. And after four hours and 45 minutes, the car traveling slower has not passed the faster car's position, but stops for lunch too. Assuming that the person in the faster car is still eating lunch, the cars are now 16 miles apart. How fast was each car driving? We're looking for a velocity or a rate. So we're going to have to use our good old formula. Distance is equal to rate times time. Let's draw a picture. I already drew a picture ahead of time. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. Didn't show up right where I wanted it to, but that's okay. I'll just move it over here right about there. That looks good. There's my picture. You can see my two cars where they're going to stop for lunch. The top car is my faster car. The bottom car is my slower car. I'm going to go ahead and start labeling important information. Like for example, I know the distance in between these two cars after they stop for lunch. This distance is 16 miles. So I can already tell by looking at my picture that I can set up an equation if somehow I could represent this as a distance, right, the distance of the faster car, and then if I could represent this as a distance, I could set both of those distances equal to one another. So that's my goal. It's a good idea to have a, a plan. What are you going to do to solve this problem? I'm going to set the distance of the faster car equal to the distance of the slower car plus the, that additional 16 miles. So in the way I could represent um, this as a distance is I could use my formula. Distance is equal to rate times time. They did give me the time, and I could write the rate as a variable expression. So let's do that. First, let's label what we know. The time of the faster car. Four hours. We also know the time of the slower car, 4 hours and 45 minutes. But we have a problem, we can't use the 45 minutes because 45 minutes is not the same units as the hours. We want them to be the same units. Because if you notice, everything here in this problem seems to be working around hours. When they use MPH, MPH stands for miles per hour. We want to convert the minutes that they used in the slower car's time to hours. So let's think about this. The slower car says that it traveled for 4 hours and 45 minutes. Let's take
take this and convert it. 45 minutes. We're going to multiply it with a unit rate here. One hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. I can cross cancel the minutes and I'll be left here with 45 over 60 hour. And this can be reduced to three fourths of an hour. It's been my experience that students like to work with decimals more than with fractions. I'm going to go ahead and convert three fourths into decimal. So I can see that 3 fourths is equivalent to 0.75. So that's what I'm going to call the time of the slower car. I'm going to call it 4.75 instead of 4 hours and 45 minutes. So let's go ahead and relabel that up here. So the time of the slower car, let's just call it SC for slow car, is 4.75 hours. Good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, erase my conversion that I did here. Okay, so going back to my picture, let's re or let's write the rate for each one of these. Since it's saying that the faster car is 13 miles per hour faster than the slower car, let's start off by labeling the slower car's rate. Let's call the rate of the slower car, let's call it rate of SC, we'll abbreviate there for slow car, is equal to X miles per hour. So the rate of the faster car abbreviate there FC for faster car is equal to X plus 13 miles per hour. I've got a rate, I have a time, I can now set each one up as a distance. So the distance that the faster car traveled, right, we have to use our distance formula, distance is equal to rate times time, would have to be the time, which is 4 hours, times the rate, which is x plus 13. We can now set that equal to the distance of the slower car, which is 4.75x, plus the additional 16 miles, which is the difference between those two distances. Now we can solve. Let's distribute this 4 to all the terms inside the parentheses. We'll have 4x plus 4 times 13 is 52 equal to 4.75x plus 16. Let's get all of our x's on one side of the equal sign and all of our integers to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, and I'm also going to subtract 16 from both sides of my equation. So it looks like 52 minus 16 is going to give me 36. 4.75x minus 4x is 0.75x. I'm going to divide both sides by 0.75, 75 hundredths, that's going to leave me x is equal to 48. And remember what this 48 represents, it represents a rate, so we have to go back and write the units. So it's going to be 48 miles per hour. And that was the rate of the slower car.
because that's the one we chose to call x. Remember, this is the one you found. You found x, and we said x was miles per hour, the rate of the slower car. So let's make sure we write that down accurately. It's our answer. So we're going to say the rate of the slower car is 48 miles per hour and the rate of the faster car is 13 miles per hour faster than 48 so in order to find that one we'll just have to add 13 to the 48 and that'll give us 61 so now we can write here the rate of the faster car is 61 miles per hour. There, we answered our question. We've labeled everything accurately. We're done.